the stories and the singing in a band. We had a little accident Oops. with our magic and turned the world hairy. Oh, how dreadful! We ran out of spells in our hairy fairy tree. But they don't care. They, they love to be hairy. Ha ha! Fairies finding all the laughter in hairy land. Ma ha! Huh? And Minnie. And don't forget there's Nana. And you all have the hairy cat. But <laughs> up on the hill in Chateau Shampoo, there's Boris Boo Hoo. And Boris Boo. Boris is trouble. You wait and see. But they don't care. They love to be hairy. I don't know about you, Wiggy, but I'm ready for a hairy berry sandwich. Oh, me too. I am over ready for a hairy berry sandwich. <gasps> that was some tummy rumble, Wiggy. Yep. Well, like I said, I am over ready for a hairy berry sandwich. <laughs> oh, hello. Wait, it's going to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Have you ever heard a tummy rumble louder than that? <gasps> yes! Pa ha ha! Oh, of course! <gasps> Let me tell them, Quiz! But you've got the tummy thing, so why don't I start? No, 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 no. it's okay. I can still tell the story. Uh, off you go, then. It was very early one morning, and we were flying around Hairyland looking for adventure. Papa Vicky, up in the Ha Ha Harry's garden and landed in the bumblebee bush. Ooh. Ha 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 was going to do some digging. <laughs> ha was in a very happy mood. Well, you know Pa Ha Ha. It's Pa. It's Pa. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's Pa. was whopping and whiskery. Wow! 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 Yes, this was the day of the whopping great whiskery carrot. Pa's tummy rumbled. The carrot had made him feel hungry. Oh, that's some tummy rumble. <laughs> so all he had to do now was put it up. Pull up the whopping great Ooh. whiskery carrot. Pull, 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 out of pull up the whopping great whiskery, whiskery carrot. Pull, 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 for all your work. <laughs> but the carrot was stuck fast. <laughs> now up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, someone was watching. Can you guess who? Boris Boo Hill, what's he gonna do? Who? <laughs> Boris was very interested in the whopping great whiskery carrot. <sighs> very interested indeed. If he had that carrot, he could make Boo Hoo carrot shampoo. Boo carrot shampoo. Carrot shampoo. Hold up, and Pa Ha Ha wasn't having any luck. Boris rang the Boise bell, and Boise came in. Out of a shlubber. Boris of a told shlubber. Boise to go and help Pa Ha Ha pull up the whopping great whiskery carrot, which Boise was very happy to do because he loves helping the Ha Ha Harrys. Out of a shlubber, shlubber. Back in the Ha Ha Harry's garden, Pa was still trying to pull up the carrot. Oh, oh 
little pa. He's run out of puff. Look, Wiggy, help's arrived. <gasps> and sure enough, Boise <laughs> had just turned up. <laughs> oh, Boise yeah. said he'd help pa to pull up the cat. <laughs> Yay! So Pa held on to the carrot and Boise held on to Pa. Pull up the whopping great whiskey carrot. Pull, pull, pull it out of the air. Pull up the whopping great whiskey carrot. Pull, 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 for all your work. Oh. Suddenly, guess who came out of the house? Mimi Ha Ha! Boise's always very pleased to see Minnie. If you wanted a job doing, do it yourself. Ooh. If he was going to have to get that carrot out of the ground himself so he could make carrot shampoo, he needed a plan. Boris needs a plan, a plan. He needs a plan as quick as he can. He needs a plan, he needs it quick. He needs ha! a plan, a clever trick. What'll it be? What'll it be? What'll it be? plan was this. Ba -da, ba -da. His bubble ba -ba. blaster. Which, if you didn't know, blasts bubbles out of its hose. <laughs> and Boris thought that if he used his bubble blaster, the carrot would just fly out of the ground. So off he went. Back in the Ha Ha Harry's garden, Maha -ha had seen the whopping great whiskery carrot. You know what I think they should do? All pull together? Yes! How did you know? Oh, I thought of it ages ago. And the Ha Ha Harry's had thought of it too. So, Pa held on to the carrot, Boise held on to Pa, Minnie held on to Boise, and Ma held on to Minnie. Pull up the whopping great whiskey carrot. Pull up the whopping great whiskey carrot. Pull up the whopping great whiskey carrot. Pull up the whopping great While the Ha Ha Harrys were laughing, Boris tippy-toed in with his bubble blaster and hid behind the bumblebee bush. Nobody had seen him, except for Chihuahua -ha. <laughs> And us, of course. <laughs> Boris is right behind us. I know. We've got to keep very still. I know. Boris wanted the Ha Ha Harrys to go inside so that he could get to the carrots with his bubble blaster. Just then, Pa had an idea. They needed more muscles. So they should go and get Nana Ha Ha. Off they went to Nana's arty den. Only Chiwa stayed behind. Boris shot out from behind the bush with his bubble blaster and started to set it up. So how does a bubble blaster work, Chris? Well, you see, you switch it on and all these bubbles blast out of the hose with a big whoosh. And he thinks the bubbles will make the carrot fly out of the ground. <laughs> Silly Boris. <laughs> Boris was ready. He turned on the bubble blaster. When suddenly... <laughs> there were bubbles everywhere. Boris went into a panic. <laughs> and just then, the others arrived. <laughs> Boris was trying to give the whopping great whiskery carrot a wash. <laughs> How kind of him. <laughs> but just then, this happened. <laughs> He's falling on his bottom. <laughs> <laughs> He's always falling on his bottom. <laughs> 
Nana had never seen such a whopping great whiskery carrot in her life. She was sure she could pull it up all by herself. Pull up the whopping great whiskery carrot. <laughs> pull, 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 it. pull up the whopping great whiskery carrot. That is one amazing Nana. Oh. <laughs> Nana said she would make whopping great whiskery carrot soup for everyone. <laughs> and Ma invited <laughs> Boris to join them <laughs> to say thank you for washing the carrot. <laughs> but Boris had, had enough of carrots to last him a very long time. So off they went to Nana's arty den to make carrot soup. And Boris never did get his carrot shampoo, and it serves him right. <laughs> that was a really, really bad day for Boris Boo Hoo. Mm. Oh, thanks, Wiggy. Mm. Yes, it was a bad day. Serves him right, though. And the hair is still eating that carrot. I don't think I could eat carrot forever. No, but I could eat hairy berry sandwiches. Well, I could eat hairy berry sandwiches forever and ever. 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 The hot hot Yum. Oh, fruity furballs are my absolute favourite sweet in Hairyland. <laughs> oh, hello. Have you ever had a fruity furball? No. Hey, Quiff, remember the time that the Harrys had a whole bag of fruity furballs? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> this is a good one. Listen up. No, I'll tell. I want to tell Quiff. OK, so... It was another sunny day in Hairyland and down in the curly-swirly meadow Minnie Ha Ha had got Boise to help her organise something. We were watching from the Wifty Wafty Willow Tree. And what was Minnie organising? <laughs> An obstacle race! <laughs> well, you know how energetic Minnie is, don't you? Minnie Ha Ha, she So, Boise and Minnie were laying out sacks on the ground for the sack bit of the race. But the race was going to go all around Fairyland, everywhere. Minnie and Boise were so excited. <laughs> and the prize was going to be... A whole bag of fruity furballs. A whole bag? Yeah. I mean a whole bag. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yes, this was the day of the fruity furball race. But over the bridge from Chateau Shampoo, someone came stomping. Can you guess who? Boris Boo Hoo, what's he gonna do? Who? Boris needed Boise's help back at the Chateau. Now, Boise was sad. He wanted to run the race. Minnie begged Boris to let Boise stay. She said that Boris could join in too. <laughs> but Boris said he was far too busy. <laughs> so off he went with Boise. And now Minnie felt sad. <laughs> But you know Minnie, she's never sad for long And she set off home to get the others ready for the race Come on Wiggy, let's follow Minnie Yeah So off we went on our popper picnic Over the round hairy land, round hairy land I am quick and I am Wiggy with a hairy fairy band <laughs> When we flew into the Ha Ha Harry's garden and landed in the hairy pear 
tree, Ma, Minnie and Pa were all getting ready for the race. They were very excited. <laughs> but up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, nothing exciting was happening. <laughs> Boris was making Boise <laughs> fill bottles while he watched the Ha Ha Hairies through the hairy stair <laughs> and <laughs> laughed. Ma, Pa and Minnie were all waiting for Nana. But they didn't have to wait for Nana. <laughs> so now it was time to live the Limber up, limber up, get your muscles warm and ready Limber up, limber up, for the hairy land race Stretch up high, then bend down low And now let's pick up the pace Two, three, four, star jumps, star jumps Running on the spot, running on the spot Running on the spot, star jumps, star jumps Running on the spot, limber up, for the hairy land race Limber up, limber up, get your muscles warm and ready Stretch right up to the sky Bend your knees and touch your toes If you win, you get the prize Boris saw the fruity furballs, he stopped laughing. There was nothing Boris liked more than a fruity furball. Why did a Boise tell him the fruity furballs were the prize? <laughs> Boris wanted the fruity furballs more than anything in Hairyland. So what he needed was a plan. Boris needs a plan, a plan, he needs a plan as quick as he can He needs a plan, he needs it quick He needs to plan a clever trick What'll it be? What'll it be? What'll it be? Ba -da -ba -da! And the plan was for Boris and Boise to join in the race after all <laughs> Not that running was Boris's oh. best thing but he'd do anything for a bag of fruity furballs. So off they went to the curly swirly meadow. Meanwhile, Ma, Pa, Nana and Minnie were all at the starting line. And we were back in the wifty wafty willow tree. But just as they were going, ready, steady, who should arrive but Boris and Boise? When the ha ha hairy saw them, they were delighted. Boris said he was doing the race for Boise. I don't believe Boris is going to run this race. He's going to cheat, Wiggy. Cheat? That is so wrong. Cheat? That's Boris. You know how lazy he is. They were all lined up again, ready to start the race. Ready? Steady? Go! And they were off. Ha-ha Harry's all jumped in their sacks, but Boris put his feet through the sack and cheated. <laughs> then, in the forest of Frizz, they did the hoppy bit of the race. The Ha-ha Harry's all hopped, but Boris ran and cheated. <laughs> oh. Then up at Chateau Shampoo, they did the skippy bit of the race. The Ha Ha Harry's all skipped round the pond, but Boris ran and got to the front of the line. Yes, Boris cheated. Spotted 
car's bottle brush boat and had an idea. Surely it would be quicker to row than to run. This is the worst cheat of all. Well, I told you he was going to cheat. I know, I know. Boris was so pleased with his plan, he didn't see the bushes in time and splash! Boris staggered out of the river and crawled to the finish line. When the Ha Ha Harry saw him, they all felt sorry for him. They didn't know he'd cheated and that his cheating hadn't worked. Oh! arrived home all wet and muddy. He didn't want to join in the celebrations. He was very, very cross. A little bit later, back in the Ha Ha Harry's garden... There was great excitement as Nana announced the winners of the Fruity Furball race. <laughs> The big bag of fruity furballs! And of course, Minnie and Boise shared them with everyone else. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Except Boris, because Boris was in a great big sulk. Oh. Serves you right for being greedy, Boris. <laughs> oh, now we've eaten a whole fruity fur ball each, Wiggy. I think it's time to limber up. Up, up, up. <laughs> Ready? Two, three, four. Star jumps, star jumps, running on the spot. Running on the spot. Running on the spot. Star jumps, star jumps, running on the spot. Limber up for the fruity fur prize. <laughs> well done. One more time. Yeah, come on! Oh, oh, I can't do it, Chris! Oh, oh, I'm running out of breath! Wiggy's trying to count to a hundred. And when she gets there, she can have a pie as a special reward for doing it. Oh, am I nearly there? I'm on 16. Is it nearly pie time? Not quite, Wiggy. <gasps> hey, do you remember what happened in Hairyland with pie? Oh, loads happens in Hairyland with pie. <laughs> the ha-ha Harry's love pie. No, but listen to this. It's a really good pie story. <laughs> it was pumperdong time in Hairyland. And if you don't know what pumperdongs are, you soon will. <laughs> you see, we were flying around on our popper picky looking for adventure. <laughs> like we do. And in the Ha Ha Harry's garden, we saw these. Pumperdongs! Pumperdongs grown by Pa Ha! Pa was very proud of them. And Minnie was very proud of Pa. We flew in and landed in the furry fur country. <laughs> wow! Pa's pumperdongs are the biggest I've ever seen! And the funniest, look! <laughs> <laughs> His pumperdongs had made Pa so happy! But Pa's always happy, isn't he? It's Pa! 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 And today, Ma was happy too. She was making a pumperdong pie. 
Oh yes, this was the day for pompadons and pies. But up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, someone was having soup. Can you guess who? Boris Boohoo, what's he gonna do who? Boris's pompadons had grown too. But they were teeny and green and whiskery. Nothing like pa-ha-has at all. Because Boris Boohoo is too lazy to look after his garden. <laughs> Back in the Ha Ha Harry's garden, Pa and Minnie were playing stepping stones with the pompadons. When... <laughs> Nana Ha Ha arrived! <laughs> Nana had never seen such fantastic pompadons in her life. <laughs> And just then, Ma came out with her pompadon pie. The smell of the pompadon pie floated past us. <laughs> Boris had heard the whooping and cheering, so he looked through his hairy staring. And he saw what was going on down in the valley. Pie! Pie is Boris's absolutely favourite thing. He had an idea. So he rang the Boise bell. And Boise came running. And just then, they both smelt the pompadour oh. pie. So Boris told Boise to go to the Ha Ha Harry's and get some pie and bring it back. He told him to be all cute and nice, like this. Boise was always happy to go and visit the Ha Ha Harry's, so he was off in a flash. Boris picked up the Hairy Stary to check what was going on. Back in the Ha Ha Harry's garden, the Harry's were still loving their pompadong pie, especially Nana. <laughs> Ma had an idea and went inside. <laughs> Nana loves pie nearly as much as she loves painting. Yes, but I think maybe I love pie even more than Nana does, Chris. <laughs> Ma came out with her big cookbook to show Nana the pompadour pie recipe. Wow. And just then, Boise arrived. Hi! Boris was impatient. Why didn't Boise just get on with asking for pie? Minnie gave Boise some pie. Which meant there was only one bit left. <laughs> Boris needed Boise to act fast if he was ever going to get the last bit of pie. But just then, Chihuahua came out of his doggy den. I bet I know what's going to happen next. And Nana gave him the last bit of pie. <laughs> and Boris Boohoo went. <laughs> oh boy, Boris was so cross. He had an idea. What he needed was the cookbook. And then he could make his own pompadour pie. Now you know Boris. He's too proud to ask to borrow anything. So now he needed... So a little later, in the Ha Ha Harry's garden, Minnie and Boise were so excited. <laughs> a teacher! A real teacher! Except it's not a real teacher, is it? It's Boris Boo. Yes, I knew that. They couldn't wait to get learning things. But Miss Twig, the teacher, had her eye on the cookbook. 
She was just about to grab it when Ma cleared it off the table. Boris didn't have time to get his hands on it. Ma, Pa and Nana went inside so that Miss Twig could get on with her teaching. Too tired to reach for the cookbook. But Nana got it first. And off she went home to her arty den. Nana's taken the book. Nana's got the book. He can't get the recipe. <laughs> he just did all of that teaching for nothing. Oops. <laughs> Miss Twig, the teacher, said it was time for her to go. Minnie and Boise begged her to stay. But it was no good. She had other children to teach, she said. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> Miss Teacher Person. <laughs> Bye! Shush! Later, back at Chateau Shampoo, Boris heard more laughing floating up from the valley. And if his day hadn't been bad enough already, it had just got worse. <laughs> Nana had made an enormous pompadong pie for everyone to share. <laughs> everyone that is, except Boris. <laughs> Oh, Boris is so proud and silly. If he just asked if he could have some pie, Ma would have given him some. <laughs> well, I'm not too proud to ask for pie, Quiff. Please, can I have some pie? <laughs> when you've counted to a hundred. Tired. Oh, hi. Sorry about the yawn. We've been buzzing about all day. Buzz, buzz, buzz. That's us. I could go on buzzing all night. <sighs> well, you can if you want to. I'm ready for bed. Bed? But it's not bedtime yet. What time is it then, exactly? I don't know exactly. That's because we don't have a clock. <laughs> well, if we did have a clock, I bet it would say it was bedtime. Nah. I bet it would say it was story time. <laughs> and I've just thought of the best ever story to tell you. About clocks, by any chance? Yep, you get it. <laughs> Listen to this. You love it. The story begins in Nana's arty den. 
Nana was looking after Chihuahua because Mahaha and Pahaha had taken Minnie and Boise to the seaside for a few days. Nana had been very busy. And we'd been watching her. She was making a special present for the family for when they got back. Well, you know what Nana's like. Nana's a hairy land artist. Nana can draw like a dream. She can spray, she can glue. She can do collage too. And sometimes she paints with ice cream. Yes, ice cream. Nana's <laughs> always laughing. <laughs> but if she goes to <laughs> Nana had made a wakey-wakey clock to wake everyone up in the morning. <laughs> and this is how the wakey-wakey clock worked. When it was time to wake up, the clock giggled. <laughs> <laughs> it made Nana giggle. <laughs> and it made us giggle too. Wakey clock was finished. Now Nana was going to take it to the Ha Ha Harry's house. Yes, this was turning out to be the day Nana gave everyone the giggles. Up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, someone was sleeping. Can you guess who? Boris Boo Who. What's he gonna do? Who? It was the afternoon and Boris still hadn't got up. This was because Boise wasn't there to wake him. Nana brought the clock outside and put it on her hairy wheeler. She had an idea. She'd set the wakey-wakey clock off again just for the fun of it. Loud and so giggly that Chihuahua ran off and Nana ran after him and the clock kept giggling <laughs> It was so loud and giggly it woke Boris Boohoo up <laughs> He grabbed his hairy stary to see where the giggling was coming from that's when he saw the wakey wakey clock sitting outside Nana's attic den all by itself. Boris Boohoo had an idea. That wakey wakey clock was just what he needed to wake him up in the morning. <laughs> but how was he going to get it? What he needed now was a plan. Boris needs a plan, a plan, he needs a plan as quick as he can. He needs a plan, he needs it quick. He needs a plan, a clever trick. What'll it be? What'll it be? What'll it be? And Boris's plan was to go and try to get the wakey wakey clock for himself. So off he went to Nana's artifact. his clatterbanger in the orchard and tippy-toed into Nana's garden. Sure enough, there was the wakey-wakey clock. He went to pick it up. Oh, I'm lit. Suddenly, Boris heard Nana coming back with Chiwa. He had to hide. So he jumped inside the clock. Which is never a good idea. <laughs> it didn't take Chihuahua long to sniff out Boris. But Nana had no idea why he was so interested in the wakey-wakey clock. 
So off went Nana with a wakey-wakey clock on her hairy wheeler. With Boris still stuck inside. No way could we miss this. So we follow. <laughs> Back at the Ha Ha Harry's house, Ma, Pa, Minnie and Boise had just arrived home. We landed in the flower bed. <laughs> then the Harry's heard Nana arriving. Go, <laughs> come And Nana gave them her special present. They were over the hairy moon with happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Nana showing them how it works? I think she wants it to be a big surprise. <gasps> the clock was very heavy. Nana couldn't understand why. <laughs> Nana told them to take the wakey wakey clock upstairs and it would give them a big surprise in the morning. <laughs> the ha ha Harrys were amazed. What kind of surprise would they get? They wondered. When everyone said goodbye to Nana, Boris tried to run away, but he didn't get very far. The Ha Ha Harrys were very surprised to see the clock had moved all by itself. Then Ma and Pa picked up the wakey wakey clock and took it inside. Of course, they had no idea that Boris Boo Hoo was hiding in it. <laughs> So Ma and Pa put the wakey wakey <laughs> clock in their bedroom. <laughs> oh, Nitz! <laughs> Minnie and Boise were unpacking the fluffer puffer bag when Ma came out. She told them it was time for Boise to go home. But that meant Boise would miss Nana's surprise. So Ma kindly said Boise could stay the night and go home to Chateau Shampoo in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so the hairy sun went down. And the hairy moon came up. <laughs> Ma and Pa Ha Ha said goodnight to the wakey wakey clock and got into bed. <laughs> Boris was going to be stuck inside the clock all night long. The next day, the hairy sun rose in the sky. Ma and Pa were still fast asleep. And then this happened. <laughs> And it woke Ma and Pa up straight away. So loud and giggly that it woke Minnie up. And then Boise. And then us. Because we'd been sleeping in the window box all night. Pa <laughs> wanted to know how it worked. So he gave the door handle a big tug. And who did he find inside? Boris Nana had said they'd get a big surprise. And big surprises don't come much bigger than this. <laughs> the Ha Ha Harrys couldn't stop laughing. Good old Boris, what a joker. <laughs> Boris wasn't going to get a wakey wakey clock for himself after all. <laughs> a teeny tiny bit sorry for Boris. It must have been horrible stuck inside that clock all night. <laughs> but I guess it served him right for trying to take it for himself. What do you think, Wiggy? Wiggy? <gasps> you were asleep. Was not. Were too. And you said you were going to keep buzzing all night. Yep, I still am. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. Oh, good ride, 
stage, Wiggy. <laughs> yep, I'm good at flying the popper, Piggy. <laughs> well, it isn't that hard, is it? <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Quiff doesn't think that flying the popper, Piggy, is hard, but it is. But what about sailing Pa Ha Ha's bottle brush boat? <gasps> Yikes! No, I wouldn't try that. Remember what happened when... Of course I do. There's a big story all about the bottle brush boat. You're not going to believe it. Well... It all started at the Ha Ha Harry's house. Ma, Pa and Minnie Ha Ha were loading stuff into the Fluffy Puffer pit. And we were watching from the bumblebee bush. They were putting in life jackets and rubber rings. <laughs> and all sorts of very interesting things. Woo! No, but wherever it is, we're going to. <laughs> and they were off. They're going on a journey in a happy, hairy group. <laughs> kept his boat. It was a bottle brush boat that Pa had made out of old bottles and brushes. We landed in the wifty wafty willow tree. Ma and Minnie were very excited. Because this was the day to float in the bottle brush boat. Minnie went off to pick some hairy berries. While Ma and Pa unloaded the Fluffer Puffer Poo. But up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, someone was playing. Can you guess who? Boris Boo Hoo, what's he gonna do? <laughs> Boris and Boise were sailing paper boats on the pond. The fuzzy frog was feeling mischievous, and he did this. <laughs> He scared Boris. <laughs> Boise laughed. Then he went inside to make a new boat. <laughs> Boris was going to get his own back on that Ooh. fuzzy frog for sure. Down in the curly swirly meadow, Ma and Pa had put everything in the boat. Then they realised that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't room in the boat for them! <laughs> Shush! So they started to take everything out again. Boris was looking through the hairy stairy, looking for an idea to get his own back on the fuzzy frog. He saw the bottle brush boat. And at that moment, he had an idea! A way to scare the fuzzy frog! Oh, the bottle brush boat and Boris will sail out to the sea So blue and bright To catch a fish and figures away With the mouth of a giant and a flappity tail Ooh. And you bring it home to his garden pond To serve the fuzzy frog right But how was he going to get the boat? What Boris needed was... A plan! A fisherman! Yes, Boris was going to catch a big fish and bring it back to his pond to serve that fuzzy frog right. And off he went! Meanwhile, back in the curly swirly meadow, Ma and Pa were ready to set sail when suddenly a fisherman arrived. Out of there! Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 they don't 
don't know it's Boris, do they? No, Wiggy. They never know it's Boris. Oh! Then Pa suddenly remembered something. The bristly brushstick boom. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to put the sail up without that. Now was the fisherman's chance to make off with a boat. Oh, this! Oh, the bottle brush boat and Boris will sail out to the sea so blue and bright. To catch a fish as big as a whale. With the mouth of a giant and a flappity tail. <laughs> To bring it home to his garden pond To serve the fuzzy frog right But Boris hadn't gone anywhere that He'd a made a mistake a He suddenly realised the boat's not in the water <laughs> Shush, Wiggy, Ma and Pa are coming back <laughs> And Ma and Pa were coming back So Boris jumped out of the bottle brush boat and greeted them Pa took the bristly brush stick boom off Ma to put it in the boat. But then this happened! Ma rocked on the bottom! Okay, Wiggy, okay. Why is bottom so funny? Pa helped the poor fisherman to his feet. And said sorry for accidentally knocking him on the bottom. Then Minnie came over the bridge and said sorry for giving the fisherman a fright. Bottom. It's huge enough. Ma settled him back down. Pa fixed the bristly brush stick boom. Then he remembered the sail. Flew. So Ma, Pa and Minnie went off to the Fluffer Puffer Poop to get the sail. Now was Boris's chance to make off with a boat. But he had to get it in the water. Oh, the bottle brush boat and Boris will sail out to the sea so blue and bright. To catch a fish as big as a whale. With the mouth of a giant and a flappity tail. And he'll bring it home to his garden pond to serve the fuzzy frog right. And that didn't go very well. No. A Ma, Pa and Minnie are coming back. As Pa, Ma and Minnie arrived with a sail, Boris tried to sneak out of the boat. But he nearly fell in the water. Ha ha, Harry thought the fisherman was hilarious. <laughs> So will you if you're not careful. Watch. Ooh. Ma thought the fisherman would be safe by wearing a life jacket. <laughs> Minnie had attached the sail to the bristly brush stick boom. <gasps> and they started to try to push the boat into the water. This was Boris's last chance. He decided to help the fisherman. Oh, the bottle brush boat and Boris will sail out to the sea so blue and bright To catch a fish as big as a whale With the mouth of a giant and a flappity tail Oh, 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 his garden pond to serve the fuzzy frog right Is it going to go in? My plan! It's in! Yes, the bottle brush boat was in the river But just then, who should arrive? Nanaha! And she'd made a hairy pear party for the boat trip. Boris seized his chance and jumped into the boat. But it wobbled. And Boris wobbled. Oh, and Boris couldn't keep his balance. And into the water he went. Oh, yes, Boris had fallen in Ringlet River. Ha ah, ha, Harry's hadn't noticed. They were too busy admiring Nana's pie. And all Boris could do was to run back to Chateau Shampoo as fast as he could. <laughs> Everyone was surprised to see that the fisherman had gone. Huh? Huh? Oh, well. Now it was time for the boat trip. Oh. La la la! They went. Yeah. <laughs> 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 when Boris got home, he collapsed by the pond. And he never did catch a fish.
fish as big as a whale. Boris is never going to get his own back on the fuzzy frog. Nope, but he could do this back to it. <laughs> <laughs> I can do a longer one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a loud one both together. Oh, that was different. Here's what happened. It was really funny. <laughs> it was a lovely sunny day in Hairyland. And in the Ha Ha Harry's garden, Ma and Minnie were looking at a ginormous parcel. They were amazed. We were hiding in the bumblebee bush. <laughs> Just then, Pa turned up. He'd been to empty his compost bin. And he was amazed. What could this ginormous parcel be? Ma read out a card and said that it was a present from Grandpa Hairy Ha Ha. What is it? What is it? What is it? Shush! Oh, you can't shush when you're this excited. Grandpa Hairy Ha Ha had sent them a Blinky Plonky. I want to play the Plinky Plonky Chris. Do you know how to play the Plinky Plonky? Mm -hmm. And the Harrys didn't know how to play the Plinky Plonky either. But that wasn't going to stop them. Yes, this was the day the Harrys played the Plinky Plonky. Minnie had an idea. She wanted to show the Blinky Plonky to Boise. So off she went to get him. We decided to go too. <laughs> Up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, someone was busy. Can you guess who? Boris Boohoo! What's he gonna do? <laughs> he emptied some hairy peelings into a very stinky compost bin. <laughs> Boise was swinging on his new rope swing. Just then, we landed in the big blue bag. And it seemed that Boris was going to have a lazy day. He'd started to read his comic when suddenly he heard something. He grabbed the hairy stairy to find out what it was. It was the plink plink plonk of the plinky plonky. Ma and Pa were getting really into the plinky plonky now. Boris was he hated noise. At that moment, Minnie turned up. And as soon as Boise saw her, he stopped looking at where he was swinging and went bump into Boris. I just knew that would happen. Hmm. <laughs> Minnie said that Boise must come with her to play the Plinky Plonky. <laughs> she said that Boris should come too. It 
It was so much fun. <laughs> but grumpy old Boris said no. He had no time for fun. He had work to do. But he told Boise to go. Go, go, go. Of course, Boris wasn't going to do any work. He was going to do this. Boris couldn't stand the noise. He just didn't know how to get away from it. He got more and more cross until he did this. <laughs> he stuck his head in the composting. <laughs> He'll be so stinky. <laughs> They all agreed that nobody knew how to play the Pinky Ponky. <laughs> then Pa had an idea. They needed a How to Play the Plinky Plonky book. They have to go over the hills to Harrytown. to get into the club of the to go to Harrytown to buy a book. Meanwhile, back at Chateau Shampoo, Boris got his head out of the compost bin. He picked a hairy carrot peeling off his cheek. Oh, I told you, covered in yucky stuff. <laughs> he couldn't hear anything. He looked through the hairy stairy. Nobody was playing the Plinky Plonky. They'd all gone off in the Fluffer Puffer Poop. They'd left the Plinky Plonky on its own. Boris wanted to get rid of the Plinky Plonky before the Ha Ha Hairies came back, but it was bound to be really heavy. What he needed was a plan. Boris needs a plan, a plan. He needs a plan as quick as he can. He needs a plan, he needs it quick. He needs a plan, a clever trick. What'll it be? What'll it be? What'll it be? Boris had taken down Boise's rope ropes and he was going to tie it to the Plinky Plonky then tow it away with his platterbank. If he's off to the Ha Ha Harry's garden, we should go too. You bet we should. So when Boris set off, so did we. arrived and before long he was attaching the Plinky Plonky to the clatterbanger with the rope swing. And we were in the hairy pear tree. Then he tried to pedal. But the clatterbanger wouldn't move an inch. <laughs> Suddenly he heard <laughs> Nana Ha Ha was coming. Boris went into a panic. He untied the rope and looked for a hiding place. And the only place he could think of was Pa's compost bin. <laughs> That's the second time today he's ended up in a bin. <laughs> Nana arrived with Chihuahua and saw the Pinky Plonky. <sighs> but she didn't see Boris. Shush, she'll hear you. Oh, I don't think she will. Boris was trying to get out of the garden in the bin. But Chihuahua was on to him. <coughs> Nana had no idea why he was barking. Just then, they all heard this. Oh. <laughs> the ha ha were back. <laughs> Boris is never going to escape now. You mean you have to live in the bin? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. The Ha Ha Harrys were pleased to see Nana and showed her what they just bought. A how to play the Pinky Blocky book. Boise suddenly saw the clatterbanger. But where was Boris? Chihuahua -ha knew. <laughs> so Nana started to play. They had no idea Nana could play the Pinky Plonky already. And Pa decided to play the bin. The bin that Boris was in. Blah, 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 blah,
Understand why he'd barked at the compost bin until Pa did this, and there was Boris. <laughs> Minnie said that Boris wanted to come and play the Blinky Plunky all along, but was too shy. <laughs> then, to everyone's amazement, Chihuahua started to play the Blinky Plunky. <laughs> Boris couldn't stand it anymore. It was time for him to go. He pedalled all the way back to Chateau Shampoo. Now the noise was even worse. And Boris could only think of one thing to do. Ooh. Is so grumpy. How awful to be that grumpy. I'd hate to be gr. Okay, Gwiz. Are you ready to not be grumpy? Let's make some noise. <laughs> oh. Another day, another adventure, Wiggy. Uh -huh. <sighs> oh, uh, hello. <laughs> hello. Didn't expect to see you here now. The hairy sun's starting to go down. Oh. Oh. Hey, Quiz. Quiz, maybe we should go on a nighttime adventure. Mm, I'm not sure that's such a great idea. Remember when the Harrys did that? Uh huh. Listen up. This is a good one. <laughs> Well, one afternoon in Hairyland, the Ha Ha Hairies were very busy. Ha, Ma, and Minnie Ha Ha were loading up the fluffer puffer boots. And we were watching from the flower bed. <laughs> this meant that they were going on an adventure. A nighttime adventure. <laughs> A nighttime camping adventure. Aha! Uh -huh. This was the day of the big camp out. So Maha -ha and Mini Ha Ha and Pa Ha Ha all climbed into the fluffer puffer poop. <laughs> was missing. Hey! Boisey Boo Hoo! He'd been invited on the big camp out as well. As soon as Boisey saw Minnie, this happened. Wasn't everyone? <laughs> Nana Ha Ha was going on the big camp out too. <laughs> Nana had brought loads and loads of stuff. While Pa put Nana's things into the fluffer puffer poop, Nana pulled out a special treat for the camping trip. It was hairy sausages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do absolutely anything, Quiff. Anything for a hairy sausage. Anything. The hairy.
very sun was starting to go down. And up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, someone else liked sausages. Can you guess who? Boris Boohoo! What's he gonna do? Who? <laughs> he wanted those hairy sausages and he wanted them now. He had to get to the Ha Ha Harry's house as fast as he could. So off he went on his clatterbanger. were laughing so much that they didn't see Boris Boohoo tippy-toeing in. But we did. Oh, the fluffer puffer poop was almost ready for the off. All they needed was Nana. So Ma went poop poop. And Nana went whoops. And the sausages landed in the furry fur country. They were right above Boris. <laughs> but Nana ran to the fluffer puffer poop and jumped in. Nana's already forgotten about the sausages, hasn't she? Uh -huh. The ha ha Harrys were in such a rush now because soon it would be dark. They're going on a journey in the fluffer puffer poop. Poop poop. Poop poop. They're going on a journey in a happy hairy group. Poop poop. Poop poop. They zoom 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 through hairy land. They huff a puff a chuff through the forest of Chris. had wasted no time. But nor had Chihuahua. No way was Boris going to have those hairy sausages. No way. So the hairies had gone. And Boris had the sausages up the tree. And Chihuahua was under the tree. And he'd been forgotten. <gasps> Poor Chihuahua. Forgotten. Forgotten. Oh, cheer up, Wiggy. But then we heard this! Look! Minnie's come back to fetch him! Minnie came back and Boris went into a panic! The kind of panic that makes you drop sausages! So Minnie found Chihuahua and she found the sausages! What a clever dog! So off they went to join the others! <laughs> Boris was furious. He stormed back to his clatterbanger. And we decided to go and find the Ha Ha Harrys in the Forest of Frizz. Pop a Mickey, 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 pop a
tippy toe, tippy toe, through the forest of frizz, went Boris the wolf. Shh, don't make a sound. Tippy toe, tippy toe, went his big hairy paws. And crunch, 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 went the leaves on the ground. There's nothing he won't do for a sausage. But how to get the hairies away from the camp? Boris had a plan to make them run, run, run. So, so here we go, go now. Three, two, one. How like a wolf. Oh, oh, oh. Ow, ow, like a wolf. Ow, ow, ow. And everyone heard and they said, What's that? A bird? An elephant? A very big cat. And off went Nana, Mimi, Poisy, Ma. And Pa. But, but someone stay behind. She won't pa, pa. Chihuahua ha, ha, just knew He knew That it wasn't a wolf It, it was Boris Boo Hoo <coughs> And Chihuahua barked <coughs> And then he growled Boris wasn't getting sausage However hard he had oh, But he wouldn't give up Oh no No way He'd have those sausages come what may How like a wolf Oh How like a wolf Oh Sausage string, and with one last pull, the string went. Yeah! Wow! Whoa! The Ha Ha Harrys were back. They heard the barking. Everyone thought Chihuahua was so brave. He'd just seen off a wolf. Then Boise found the hairy sausages. At last, they could have their big camp out feast. <laughs> As for Boris Boohoo, his hairy sausage hopes were over. <laughs> but Chihuahua's hopes of a sausage had only just begun. The bravest dog in Hairyland got the fattest, hairiest sausage. I would do honestly, absolutely anything for a hairy sausage, Quiff. I would. OK, Wiggy. <laughs> I know what you can do. What? Howl like a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'll give it a go. <laughs> <laughs>